courtship and marriage in the Regency era were central themes that pervaded both society and my novels. These intricate matters of the heart captivated the imagination of many, reflecting the complex dynamics of romance, social expectations, and personal aspirations. In the Regency era, courtship was a carefully choreographed dance where gentlemen and ladies engaged in a delicate interplay of emotions and propriety. For the gentlemen, it was a display of their refinement as they dressed in their finest attire, polished their manners, and pursued the hearts of the fairer sex. It was through conversations, dances at glittering balls, and subtle gestures that they sought to win the affections of their chosen ladies. They navigated the labyrinth of social rules, always mindful of the decorum expected of them. The ladies, on the other hand, possessed a charm and grace that captivated the hearts of their suitors. They were accomplished in various arts such as music, painting, or needlework, which showcased their refinement and cultivated sensibilities. Their wit, intelligence, and the ability to engage in stimulating conversation were highly valued. However, they were also expected to exhibit modesty and demureness, striking a delicate balance between expressiveness and decorum. Yet, courtship in the Regency era was not solely driven by matters of the heart. It was deeply intertwined with social considerations, wealth, and status. Marriages were often strategic alliances, seeking to unite families, secure fortunes, or elevate social standing. While love and affection were not discounted, practicality played a significant role. The right match could secure financial stability, strengthen family connections, or even elevate one's position in society. The pressure to make a suitable match, weighed against personal desires, added a layer of complexity to the pursuit of love. Marriage, the ultimate goal of courtship, carried its own set of expectations and challenges. It marked the transition from romance to the realities of daily life. Wedding preparations became the focus, with the anticipation of a joyous celebration that would cement the union of two souls. However, even after the vows were exchanged, the dynamics of Regency society continued to shake marital relationships. The roles of husband and wife were clearly defined, with the husband as the provider and the wife as the nurturer. The management of households, social obligations, and the quest for an heir were among the many responsibilities that awaited couples after the fervor of courtship had subsided. Through my novels, I endeavored to capture the subtleties and nuances of courtship and marriage in the Regency era. The stories I spun were windows into a world where societal norms, personal desires, and matters of the heart collided. I aimed to portray the triumphs and tribulations of characters as they navigated the intricate dance of courtship, making choices that shaped their destinies. In conclusion, courtship and marriage in the Regency era were not mere transactions of the heart, but delicate interplays of emotions, societal expectations, and personal desires. As we embark on this journey, let us celebrate the enduring allure of courtship and marriage in the Regency era.